hello guys welcome to my youtube channel scholar tech studio in this video we will learn how can we create different constraints in msc items view and what are the most important things that you must keep in your mind when you are dealing with the uh, constraint or applying the different joints okay so today we will just discuss two data uh, two uh, types of joints one is fixed joint and other is absolute joint okay so let's suppose we want to make fix this uh, part okay so we will select the this uh, fixed joint and here we have the option like uh, one location bodies in, in play and two bodies one location two bodies two location okay so far in this case we just select the two bodies and one location it means that we need to fix with this ground okay so first uh, we need to here you can see that it's updating like it's asking to select the first body so our first body is p1 okay and now he, it is asking to select the second body we want to fix with the ground so we'll click on the ground now it asking to specify the location so if we bring our cursor on this body then automatically it will uh, like select uh, or give some suggestion of the points where you can uh, apply this constraint or joint so let's suppose i want to select this one at the center of uh, this p1 so now it's fixed at the center okay and if you want to change the size of uh, this icon so you just need to select this one right click on it and then go to uh, appearance so from here icon size let's go i select the 5 apply now you can see that it's uh, become smaller and i can adjust it to 10 so it's up to you you can in this way you can uh, like the chain the appearance of this uh, joints okay so the next step is we want to create the revolute joint between this p1 and p2 okay so we will select the p and we also have uh, options different options so we will select two bodies and one location okay and from here we have two options one is normal to grid so this is our grid if we will uh, select this one so it will automatically create the revolute joint in this direction okay so if we have this uh, uh, like the planar mechanism then we will select this one option is okay but if we have uh, some complex geometry then we will select the pick feature so then this will select the some features uh, for the direction of uh, uh, revolute joint so in future video we will discuss about this but in this we just select the normal to grid so it is only applicable when our mechanism is planar mechanism okay it means that into uh, two dimensional uh, okay so similarly we have to select the first body so we'll select this p1 as a first body and then we will select p2 as a second body now we will select the center of p1 see if you will move this one so it's change the reference point when it shows the p1 okay the first body that is fixed and then and it's the center then we will click now you can see that this joint is created okay and if we will go there so in this way you can see that our joint is created let's suppose let's suppose if you created this joint but it's not exactly at the center of this one okay but we want to make it at the center then what we can do we can select this go to we will select this joint uh, so select this joint then right click on it and then go to modify okay so this window will pop up from here you can change the type of the joints see 
you can change the type of the joints and even you can impose some type of motion on this joint and you can also change its uh, like orientation its uh, location so for that we will select this one so this is the modif modif modification tool so here you can see that we can rotate this one if it's uh, in wrong direction and you want to rotate this one so you can use this one this is the angle and these are the these axes so and by using this one you can move in x direction y direction let's suppose we want to move to this one to right direction so here is 10 already selected and we will select the x so you can see it's moving in x positive direction if we select x negative and again we will select now it's moving this direction if we want to move upward so we will select the y okay this is negative therefore it's moving downward and if it's positive then it's moving upward so in this way if our joint is not at specific or accurate location we can change the position of the joints and also we can change the orientation let's suppose we want to uh, like rotate this in this direction because it's revolving around in this direction in z now it's uh, uh, around Z and if we want to make an X so from here we will select the 90 so we want to rotate this one 90 so we want to rotate this around Y axis if we around Y axis then it will move in this direction so see now you can see that it's uh, change its uh, direction and we want to go back just select minus 90 so now it is original position so in this way we can change uh, the orientation and the location of the joints so this is all about uh, uh, the joints like uh, uh, fixed joint and revolute joint i hope you like my video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of my upcoming video